Hello and welcome to the championship race of the K5 championship here in the late model stock at Hickory tonight. We, of course, are not in the uh, championship hunt. Instead, you've got Tracy leading the way, followed by Gavin and then Nick, your league founder, I guess you could say. Um, we are starting off with Heat 1. I figured we'd show it. Because, you know, there's going to be people maybe wondering who gets it done here tonight for the championship. So I'll go ahead and show stuff and be boring on commentary, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, you know, if you're not interested, you can always skip right to the race. Races that I participate in. Always an option. I'll make sure I get that uh, bookmarked. Or uh, chapters, I guess is what they call it, on YouTube. Gavin's going to be in the first heat race. So, uh, I believe everybody's going to make the show. This will be for qualifying position, essentially. And uh, some strong contenders in this first one. With Chris, Dylan, Bryce, I mean, just pretty much everybody in here. Pretty good shot. James up front with... That's a pretty spectacular looking car. Very bright green. I hurt my eyes a little bit, but I always like the blue-green combination. So that's looking pretty good. And Gavin's got a decent spot here on the inside. As for myself, I don't know how well I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think I think I'm gonna take a similar approach to, as I did in uh, at Stafford, where I'm gonna be real nice to the tires. Um, I think I I've done uh, like one, maybe two races at Hickory total, and uh, none in this late model stock so brand new to me here tracy shared his setup for the race which is very much appreciated as we are going green here for heat number one i'm gonna lower the volume a little bit it's just a bit too loud for my preference so gavin's really just hoping nothing bad happens to him here and he can get a solid starting position for the future. Like I said, everybody makes it, so there's no threat of anybody not making the show. Probably good news for me. Ooh, almost three wide back there. Looks like they sorted it out. Oh! Bryce sideways. I think uh, getting loose is going to be a big problem in the future. I think that's where I'm going to be focusing on saving my tires. After some practice, I found my right sides at 95-94, and the rear being hotter. Now, of course, we've got different setups throughout the field, I'm sure. But uh, that was the case for Tracy's setup last week. Or rather, two weeks ago, as we did have an off week. So I will anticipate that to happen. I think that's a good thing. I think it's good to be on the right rear, so long as you don't overdo it. So I'm prepared to just be easy on the throttle and uh, hopefully have some speed late race. Great two lane racing. Yeah, I agree. It looks like we've got some competitive lines kind of midway up. We'll see how that evolves as time goes on. Crack is at 0% state, so I think tire wear is going to be a big thing. Yes. Um... Kind of what I'm saying, tire wear being, uh, or the track, you know, being at 0% usage, the tires are going to be eaten up. There's no rubber down on the track to uh, help with that tire wear, so I think it's going to be important. I haven't gone for the lead. He is ready to have pole position, which I'm sure he would love to have for the feature. Being that this is heat number one, the winner of this race will go on and be the pole sitter for the actual full event. Can't start much better than that. Haven't, uh, I don't think there have been any wrecks. It looks like everybody's still in here. We got ourselves a seven car field. Lemons, 22 maybe got into Bryce up there a little bit. No harm done, though, I don't think. Pretty solid uh, run here for everybody. I believe we are coming to the white flag. Yes, we are. 
and just getting a whole view of the field. As Gavin looks like he should be able to pull it off and get himself a P1 starting spot. Yes. So, someone did the math, just retired from the race. and I'm going to relay that math for you on what needs to happen for the championship. I might not be able to get it in time, though, because this is my heat, heat number two. Going to try to get to it real quick. Okay. So if Tracy gets in the top four, he wins the championship no matter what. Gavin, if he gets the win, and Tracy is fifth or worse, he will get the win. And then Nick, Nick Nieben, will get the championship if he wins, and Tracy is sixth or worse. So, Tracy, so long as he finishes, that would mean uh, top four, I guess. He should be able to uh, lock it up, but you never know what can happen. You never know. Could be blown tires. Could be crashes. So it's still plenty up in the air. Three different uh, possible champions here tonight. And as we saw, Gavin putting him himself in a really good spot already. Start second gear. My plan for tonight, like I said, save some tires, see if we're there at the end. And uh, don't wreck any anybody in general, and especially not any of the championship contenders, because that would be very bad. So, we are uh, going to start P6 here on the outside, and seemed like the uh, middle lane. was able to hang in there quite a bit. Let's see what we can do. Okay, kind of just being held up here on our outside way. Can't really go forward at the moment. Oh, we got some blinking. Clear, I was waiting for that clear. So I was, I felt like I could have gone a little bit faster, but kind of just trapped out there on the outside lane. That's fine. I'm not too concerned anyway. Everybody makes it. Oh, the 42 is spawn. Uh, we keep it clean. I am so sorry about that. I did not expect you to check up like that. Thank you to the F1 brakes on this car. <laughs> Very good brakes. I believe that was Frank maybe got in the back. Up the 42. Oh. Frank ascending to space as well. Getting some Kerbal Space Program action going on. Single file. Two. One left to green. Okay, so be ready. We're about to go. About to go green. Stay focused. Can't see. Hide the car is off. Green, green, green. Really want to pass them. B6. Just gonna be patient. Hard to get much more early on. Uh, early on. Five. Further cementing my plan. Do some tire saving if it's going to be hard to pass. On equal tires. The lap time was 14.0. Kind of tried to cut down there. That didn't really work. There was kind of an apron there. I didn't. 
back to ram enough. Oh boy, Frank's blinking a lot. Sixth place. I'm gonna find up starting uh, farther back. I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. The next car is Because it'll allow me uh, some potential room to enact my tire strategy and take it easy. Uh oh, smoke. Not sure what that was. Get up to fifth place. Thanks, James. All right. Good race, Rick. Five. That's the end of the race. All right. Did kick it flag. Sure. We're good. All right. Can I get back to you? Fifth place. I'll take it. No, I don't think so at all. I didn't get a penny extra at all, and I, I just flamed the tire coming out of the corner. i to turn my volume down just a bit. We don't have that data. We don't have enough data for that. That was fun. That was fun. All right. So, yeah, we move ahead one spot. I was feeling okay. I feel like I could have done better yeah, hadn't I not uh, been held up at the start quite so much. I felt like I probably could have given a little bit more on the outside. Tracy with just about the worst possible luck he could have gotten in the draw, being that he's P6 in the third heat. Only Nick King had it worse for the random draw. Nick, however, P2. So, championship implications as they like to say as the kids like to say <laughs> we'll see if uh, tracy can overcome a little bit of a hill to climb at the start just evening out since he does have the advantage at heading into this race after this we will head straight to the feature, I believe, unless we have to do the uh, pointless B, which I think we might. I think it forces you, maybe? Though I'm actually not seeing it here, so maybe not. We Hopefully we won't have to do a pointless race. I will be a part of it if we do. I'm thinking we actually do, though. If I remember correctly, that is something that happens. Tracy, wasting no time trying to get below the 10. He showed his nose down there, and the 10's going to let him have it. So already moving forward, he knows it's important to get a good start in the race, except that's not going to help the 44 getting into the 6 of Kevin. I didn't see exactly who was at fault there, I just saw their corners touch. It looks like, ooh, that, that's tough to say. I gotta, I gotta admit, I'm not too familiar with hickory so i'm not sure exactly you know is that the line they're supposed to be taking i don't know um maybe just a case of guys you know both being a little bit high a little bit low and then finding each other that wasn't on me right i don't think that was on tracy i think that was on me kevin gonna call it there on himself but I nothing someone i'm not sure if that was my fault or what happened nothing egregious there six didn't go high enough bryce is saying Certainly nothing too terrible, as far as I could see. Green, green, green. A case where, you know, maybe he could have been up the track a little bit, maybe moved a little bit, but it's not like he was being over-aggressive or anything. So, basically we'll actually get a spot from it, and hopefully not have too much damage from that uh, collision. It's looking like he's just fine. He's got speed still, and it looks like he's going to get a run on the 44. Probably not what Nick wanted to see in his rearview mirror. He wants uh, as big as, as an advantage as he can from Tracy uh, to start the race, to start the feature. As of right now, he's right behind him. So let's see, moving back through the field, Kevin back here at the rear. Nick may be looking at Alex up there, seeing if he can get around. Halfway through, as this is the end of lap six, everyone in single file line right now, except I think that was Nick King. 
Maybe getting a little loose on injury, or just letting him go. Oh, Tracy looking low up there, actually getting very loose. I think if he didn't get loose, he might have actually got a nose on him. Tracy really wants this spot, so I think uh, with the importance for these two tonight, we're going to give a look and watch this. He's looking down there again. He doesn't have the nose, but Nick's not going to risk it, I don't think. I think he's content. Maybe didn't necessarily want that to happen, but worst case scenario is getting wrecked and getting the worst possible starting spot. So I think Nick's going to just let that fly. Follow him here. And potentially they could end up starting right next to each other in the feature. Coming to the white flag. Is Tracy going to be able to make a move for the lead? It looks like he's got the nose there. Alex gives him the room and goes up high. He'll actually get it done. And Nick getting pinched a bit. Is he going to be able to pass him? He will while getting wrecked. We have a wreck across the line, but thankfully, you get a new car for the feature. And it looks like no fee, no uh, fee main to worry about. We're all going to make the race, so all right, no pointless fee main. We're going to head straight to the feature after a warm up, and uh, I'm just going to double check. Here's the tire settings I was telling you about the 95, 94 I got from practice. Looking at everything here, I'm just going to go ahead and save this to make sure my settings don't like reset or something whenever the feature starts. And we'll take a look at the grid while we have a moment. It's looking like Gavin, E1. We're going to be back in 14th on the outside. That's okay. Like I said, I kind of want to just save some tires, so we'll give lots of room. And, uh... Play the long game. 135 laps. Tracy third. You know, all the all the championship guys within the top six. So they're going to be slugging it out, I imagine. We also can't uh, go laps down, though. That's something I'm going to have to remember. Can't put myself laps down while trying to save the tires because it would be very difficult to get back onto the lead lap with the rules in this series. Line. Really trying to stay off the track. Holy smokes! Well, not much I can do about that. I'm just gonna have to wait. There is no room to get back out of the track. There's a car approaching. Stay in your lane. Outside. This is why he has asked us to not come out of the pits during green flag conditions. Because <laughs> it could very much uh, mess up the race. Okay, I don't have that muted. We're good. Alright, we'll see how we can do. Not sure how well it's gonna go, given uh, my inexperience with this track. I'm not gonna worry about it too much, just enjoy myself. Hopefully, have ourselves a clean race. Our head pulls off. Just getting some warm up in here. Down low. Down low. Trying to or get some experience, see if there's anything different. The trip. Okay. Anything different that the uh, track does, I, want, I might want to be aware of. Big loose moments I can decipher and figure out. To be prepared for. Like I said, I think the car is actually going to get looser as time goes on. P6, you 
just done. So for me, I think the big, the biggest thing would be easy on throttle. Slow down, down load, ease in. For the most part. And ease out. For these cars in particular, it can be kind of difficult to tell if you're killing the tires because it just has so much grip. It feels like you're uh, you got duct tape on the tires. You can go anywhere you want. Okay, warm up's over. Bring it on in. Warm up's over. So we're going to be going to the feature. That's the end of the session. B6. All right, should be fun. I'm excited. I believe we'll have the correct fuel in here. Should be plenty enough. At 14. Remember, do not leave pits under green. 135 laps. Let's do it. You're on the outside this session time. last lap is what I want. You know, the tires, they really were coming off of the thing, too. Even after those couple of laps, 95, 94, and you kind of do the math a little bit, those tires are going to be uh, kind of hurting by the end of the thing, so. We'll see, though. Changing conditions can change how that all works out, of course. We need to follow car number 44. Get the sun going down so we could get some more grip out here. One to go, next time by. Kind of hard to tell how much room you've got out here. Feels very narrow here. About to go green. Stay focused. All right, here we go. Okay. Ice car is off. Be ready. Go. Green flag. Green flag. The car inside. Keep high. Still there. Stay high. It's all smoke. I'm a little nervous. B15. Still there at the bottom. Trying to get in the line. So I don't want to be on the outside here killing my tires. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Car inside. And 58 wants to nose down there, though. Slow car ahead. Keep high. Slow car ahead. Slow car down low. Slow car down low. Go high. B16. That was Kevin. Did he miss the start? Maybe. That's no good. Man, I'm sorry. We just got checked up there real bad. There was some sort of accident that didn't bring out a caution. Oh my five, Jesus, 17. Time. Ready to kill me. We are going real slow all of a sudden. I'm going to say tire, but <laughs> a little bit too much right there. Can't go lap down. Got to remember that. And this is a short, short track. Go low. Clear up top. B14. That's a new fastest lap for hours. 14.1. Gap to right ahead is increasing. It's now 1.5 seconds. The lap time was at 14.6. Alright, finally got a little bit of room, at least ahead. We got a big guy right behind us. That makes me a little nervous, but be okay. Try not to turn the steering wheel too much. 
a little bit of uh, rotation there, a little bit more than I would like, so we'll go even a little bit easier on throttle. I really do think that the uh, the uh, right rear is going to be the problem, so I'm a little less concerned on entry. I can maybe still maintain some speed by driving in a little bit harder. And then maybe we can balance out the right sides as much as possible. Just really don't want that right rear burning off hard and getting way too loose. That's the concern. We'll just have to keep an eye and make sure we know where the leaders are. Just in case they start coming around to lap us. We are P14. Right where we started after moving back and forth a little bit. We're doing all right. Kevin in the six. Is he maybe trying to come back and get some laps back, maybe? Might be able to do it if he actually uh, goes hard and gets the perfectly timed caution, you know. So. Look him up. Inside. Still there, inside. Definitely looked like he was ready to go harder than I am, so not even gonna mess with it. I don't think he would be a problem anyway. He's been a clean racer as far as I've ever been able to tell. But uh, we won't hold him up at all. No need to. Caution free so far, that's cool. Love to see that. The gap to right ahead is now 1.7 seconds. How's the uh, front looking? Right now it's Tracy in the lead. Gavin behind him. Nick up there in seventh. Tracy's looking to be in a very good spot. The tires stay on the car for him, though. It's pushing too hard too early. Only time will tell. Yeah, I assume is on the same setup as I am. Given that this is the setup he shared with his name on it. <laughs> so I assume it's the setup he's using, unless he's, like, sabotaging everybody and giving them the, the stinky setup. Which, no, of course he's not. So, car's still feeling good, as we are 24 laps into this thing. Not sure how far back we are, how far in front of the leaders. Not sure how I can most easily tell. I guess just to scroll through the relative. They are not even showing up yet. We are good for a while. We got room around us, which is great. The gap to right ahead is now 2.1 seconds. Now we could uh, take it easy these laps, eventually get a caution, and then get all the room back that we lost, but still keep the good tires we got from being this way, so it's kind of what happened at. Stafford got, uh, at least at one point in the race got a caution after saving and then got right back up to him again so see if it happens though it would be really cool to just go all the way green championship race 
be a great way to cap off the season. Dad looking like he's catching up. He might want to get around. Looks like he's making a move. It's fine. Clear inside. Not too worried about that one particular position. I'm going to keep focused on my plan here. Not uh, driving all too hard. Checked earlier, they, uh, the leaders weren't even on the relatives, so I don't feel too immediately concerned about the potential of going a lap down. I'm feeling okay. I feel like uh, we've got ourselves a good game plan. I'm gonna keep sticking with it. Get laps done. Keep these tires happy. Let's see what happens. The gap to King behind is now 0.8. Your last lap time was at 14.4. The gap in front is now 0.8. Nick King, he was kind of up on us for a little bit earlier. Looks like we've got some room back to him now. Not sure if that's tire wear related. Maybe he's backing off. That's exactly. That's why it's so fun to watch other people's races. Like Nick or Gavin's. Because you get to uh, watch their perspective on the race. You know what they were thinking at just about any given moment. That's what makes... Uh, Watching the same race, even you know, watching different perspectives of even the same race can make it uh, interesting still. Even if you know the outcome. Enjoy that part of it. The gap ahead is now 1.2. We'll go ahead and check the relative again soon, see where those leaders are. I don't want to push the car. But if I have to, to avoid going a lap down, that is just going to be necessary. And I think uh, we will still have an advantage from taking it easy early on here. Looks like we're still good, still not seeing them on the relative. We got ourselves a caution. I'm not sure what's up around the corner. Looks like Kevin. Uh-oh. That was probably on me. I was getting crushed by. Hey, Kevin's had some bad luck. It's like Friss maybe was involved. All right. So we'll get to right back to where we were. Is it time to push yet? Do we now take advantage of our better tires, or is it still too early? That's tough. It's tough to say. Of course, no tires in this series. That's why it's so important to keep the ones that you do have nice and happy. Another thing, caution laps don't count. So, these laps that we're turning will not add to our lap total. Leaderboard says Tracy out front still with Gavin right behind him. And he's going to be right, right behind him. Now that everyone's bunched up. Nick outside of the top seven. I can bet you that he is saving tires. About to go green. Stay focused. Feel very, I feel pretty confident that's his plan. Okay. See him up there. Maybe not as much as I am. I might be oversaving even so. 
Oh, shoot. That's something going on up here. Clear. Car outside. Still there. Clear. Okay, it's not great. It's kind of hard to tell where, where Nick King is. I'm getting that graphical flash a lot lately. I still don't know if that shows up in the recording or not, but... Kind of like a, a little bit of a shock when it happens. It's a white flash on the screen while I'm trying to focus on my corner. I've chosen to still kind of uh, take it easy. It's still pretty early. And we could have get ourselves another caution later. Get punched right back up again anyway. You know what to say, cautions breed cautions. So it could be sooner rather than later that it happens. I see some movement up there in fact. I think they're side by side and they have been for a while. I'm fighting a little bit. Put that corner on That was at 14.3. Boy, don't pull out of line, guys. Nick <laughs> King is blinking like crazy back there. I know he's had issues with his connection. I'm sure he already knows about it. I don't know if he knows it's as bad as it is right now, but much can be done about that. You've just done a 14.3. So I'm not pushing anymore, but it looks like we're kind of catching up to some guys up ahead. That's not even a me pushing it all, so that's interesting. Not quite there on Chad, so I'm not gonna force the issue. I could definitely see some cautions starting to happen too if the handling does go away. Are still feeling good though. Still just under driving it. Letting it uh, roll around the corner a bit. Try not to use too much wheel. That lap time was 14.3. What? That lap time was 14.4. Sorry, Alan. Still ahead. not quite halfway there. Long way to go. Something happened back there between Nick and Alan. I think the guys I had were just bunched up a bit. Because they are starting to pull away again. Seeing that 17 get sideways though, that's Chad. That's exactly what I'm trying to avoid. By being really easy on the throttle. Because I think doing that too much is going to leave car handling pretty poorly by the end of this thing. Which is what I'm trying to avoid. The gap in front is now 
car outside honking. Sounds like its late models are honking. <laughs> Probably it doesn't come through in the video, but it's funny. When do we start pushing, if we do? Say, I still think it's too early for it though. I feel like if we start pushing late with some really good tires, I feel like we could probably get moving pretty good. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Alright, we're getting halfway call now. The next car is right. That was a uh, 14.3. Up on P13 right now. The lap time was at 14.5. Tracy's still in the lead with Gavin in second, according to the standings. Gavin's got to hope that uh, not only can he get around him, but Tracy has some issues or something. Or else Tracy's going to be able to clinch it here tonight. Again, he's got to finish at least uh, I believe fourth place to guarantee himself. Oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Sliding moment for like Rick up there. This guy's starting to get loose. That's what I predicted is that the car was going to get loose for a lot of guys. Trying to figure out where we need to be. You've just done at fourteen point seven. It's having some control issues, maybe. Right there, but it gives it to us. It leaves the bottom open. It looks like. Clear. It's really just looking really planning on diving it in there. Like he might have backed out. 13th place. That lap time was 14.5. Alright, P13. Starting to see the handling go away for some guys. That's what I want. We're only just barely past halfway, so I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling pretty good. Going by pretty quick though, with only just the one caution so far. Ooh, we saw some smoke, that's a lap car there, the 32. Gonna make it easy for uh, us lead lap guys. Looks like he is. He's going up high. Take it extra easy this corner on the throttle. Since we have to hold it down low anyway. Nicely done. Lawless execution of the lap car pass. <laughs> and uh, letting us go as well. Chad up there, maybe having a handful. Unless it was just one moment. I saw him going a little sideways, maybe. Yeah, he's looking real loose. Down. 
I still feel okay for me. What's for now? Kevin coming up on the outside in his Wendy's car. No trouble there. Side by side up ahead, gonna bring those guys back to us a little bit, maybe. Ah, Kevin has left. That's too bad. Just passed him. Thanks there. Sorry, Alan, that wasn't very smooth. Might have been a sarcastic thing. Sounds like maybe there was some contact of some sort. Then trying to get around the 11. See if we can find our way through as well. I've been pinching quite a bit. Outside. Get to his inside though. Still there. That was outside, clear. Car outside. He's got very little grip on exit. Seems like we're getting a lot of uh, big runs on him out there. Very close to us. Wow, he's about ready to wreck us. Holy cow. That was so close to our right here. On the apron. A little concerning. Should be able to drive away, I think. All is well. It's me being nervous, I'm sure. Pretty good at that. SP12. Is it about time to start going? Maybe we do here soon. up the pace a bit. Your last lap time was at 14.2. Right there. Our lap time was 14.4. So, let's go. All right, heat 11 now. Start using these tires a bit. Heat 11. The car in front is Martin. That was at 14.3. Header is now in the lead. Now in the lead. for it. Doesn't look like it. I need to see a second ahead. Some team can really loose and a caution. Alright. Uh oh. That was terrifying. Got ourselves a traffic jam. Yeah, it was. Bye. Sorry about that. Alright. Got some people ahead that got damage. That's no good. Past the paid car. Pete Road is now open. I do not need that yellow. Yeah, rough time. Sounds like everyone's getting into them. I felt like I've had those days. So P11, it's go time now, I think. 30 laps to go or so. Started pushing before. Shoulder's about to fall off, Dylan says. 
P5. Now we're bunched up. I think we've been really nice to the tires. Let's see how much we can get. I guess you can go, Alex. I thought it was, uh, I was past you, but it was reverted back to the last lap, probably. So Nick, just a couple spots ahead of us. That'll bring Tracy back to Gavin. You know, Gavin's going to want to see if he can get around him. Hopefully we can all keep it clean here to the end. Things will end up where they do. Come to one to green now that it's been shortened. One left to green. Yeah, I'm sorry, Anna. What kind of speed we got in this thing. Okay, Colton, the next car is right. Get ready. Definitely Go bunch right. up a little bit more. Sure, we're getting there, though. Ice car is in. Green, green, green. Car outside. Still there. Clear outside if you want. Spend time. You're in the top ten. Real easy around a championship contender, that's for sure. Shouldn't be racing them first in this race for a championship. Uh, we got an interesting political situation up front, I think, of guys trying to stay on the lead lap and guys trying to win the championship. We drove it a little bit, Just tapped the wall. Car outside. Not quite Clear there, maybe, maybe I am. Trying to be extra careful. I believe that is ninth, yes. Lost some time there being careful, but I would do it the same way every time, I think. Grace is not as important. Still got time though. Laps left. The gap in front is now 1.5 seconds. This is lap car, I didn't even realize. Cars up ahead. I thought those were guys on my lap. Some more uh, work to do to get up to those guys, though. I'm starting to get a bit of tight. That's disappointing. I, guess I might have overdone it on entry, but maybe it'll swing back around as I start getting on the throttle more. Might be just uh, exactly what I need. Unless I'm driving harder now, I guess that should be expected. Coming to 16 to go. The gap ahead is now 1.1. You've just done it, 14.1. Man, the, uh, we just don't have the same amount of uh, advantage as I think I wanted. We're fast, but 
I don't know if we're gonna be fast enough to make up too much. Let's let this by. Pull them. By. Still on our outside on exit. Can we reach Thanks, anybody else? Yeah, I tried staying off of Battling up ahead. Nope, that's a lap car. Thought it was some battling. Maybe they're battling. Geez, lap car's not just letting them go. That's for sure. Why the egg would race here? Does not have anyone else around him? And he's not gonna. Oh my gosh! I just got the way. He's not gonna uh, get his lap back. Getting a little dicey. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Black, three wide. I'm scared. Good. Five. Five to go. Only five to go. And we get one more spot, get seventh place. Had much to go there. Was this exit? Not enough. Two left to go. Two to go. Last lap. He's stuff going on up ahead. Everybody. Yeah, great job. I have nothing for you. That was a lot of fun, though. Alright, that's fine. He eight. Good win, Blake. Good win. Good race. Congrats, Tracy. Good win. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. So he gets the win. Both in the race and the championship, Tracy. We had lots of green laps here today. That was pretty good stuff. Gavin did a fantastic job. He did just about everything he needed to do. Just came up a little short, but he gave it a great effort. 65-62. So I saved too much, I believe. Yeah, good win. That was a nice set of Huh, maybe not. Tracy, 69-65. Yeah, I messed up pretty bad. I had two weeks to make this up pretty good. That makes sense. That makes sense. Just take a look at all these tires. It is all terrible with saving tires. And I don't know, 60, 60 at the end. Nick got on that right front a bit too much, looks like. Killed his right front. I think I saw Gavin. He had great tires. 55, 54. Just about ever what you need to do there. Pretty much even. I'm happy with how I did, did mine. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, didn't have enough time. 
I think uh, track position was a problem for me, just having to get around guys. I think even if I went harder earlier, I mean, you can see Tracy up there. He had better tires than I did on the same setup and uh, got the win. So I think having better track position probably would have helped me out a little bit. But, uh, hey, I'll take it for sure. Top 10. Move forward six spots from where we started. And uh, I feel like it was a pretty good run. So that'll be Tracy, your championship winner. Gavin will come in P2, both in the race and in the championship. And uh, I assume Nick must have pulled into P3. I don't think there was anyone uh, too close behind him. So that'll be the assumption I'm under. We'll see what did happen. Though it was a pretty clean race overall, so probably not too much. Ooh, looks like a bit of a checkup, and then guys get into each other a bit. Everyone keeps it going, though. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that checkup uh, continued, and uh, looks like it just accordioned all the way back to the 42. He gets into the cabin, and then just things got all stacked up. And then uh, Nick King's going to be blinking this race, I imagine, so we might just have to skip whenever we see him. Tracy up front. Blinking a bit. Good thing, uh, <laughs> good thing uh, he didn't lag out. That would have been so disappointing. Wall hit there. Probably some blinking. 32. Not much going on there. A solid hit for the 8. Solid compared to the other ones we saw. I don't think it did much anyway, though. So I think we'll just uh, go a little bit faster, see if we've got uh, any more meaningful contacts. I'm thinking we saw something here. Well, maybe uh, Bryce came down a little bit too much. They're struggling figuring out where, uh, where they need to be. Wall. Ooh, okay. Here's a, uh, I believe your caution. I believe we got a caution for this. Looks like 22 just uh, runs into the back of Chris there. Pretty straightforward. Rear ending. Oh, and then Kevin, no luck. All that is, is seeing a wreck and getting on the brakes, but the brake bias sending him around because of how hard he had to get on it. And unfortunately, there's a wall there for his front end to find. That's very unfortunate. Nick's got his blinker on. By Tracy, too. Rick gets into the wall. Moving along as Tracy signals his turn. The 82 turns down a bit there. Probably just really trying to get in line. Trying to find his place in line. There he does. Moving along. And on and on. You know, it's a clean race when all the incidents you're getting are just blinks. Blinks and uh, tiny wall hits. In there. 34. That's probably the hardest hit we've seen, but even still, that wasn't all that bad. Kind of comes down on Alan there just a bit. We've got the 11 blinking just a tiny bit. Is there something that happened before this? Maybe just a wall tap. Just a tiny one as he was uh, kind of sliding a bit. Rick, oh my goodness. Sending it a million thousand miles an hour. It really dives it in there, hits the grass, comes up and get him. That's 
probably why Alan wasn't too thrilled about that move. Alright, 42, gonna do it as well. Alan's uh, just everybody's doormat, I guess. Walking on by. I can see being frustrated with that. Eleven trying to get to me. Potentially. Thought we were gonna see something there. It's just another blink. Just another blink. And then there, I don't even know if Nick King actually got into him because he was gone while it happened. I think it just thought he did, and he actually was low enough that it shouldn't have been. But man, Allen's getting used up. He saw that in the millisecond. Uh, <laughs> before I sent, after I sent it. But, uh, what are we getting up here? I saw a crash happen. 42 is loose, and he comes down and kills Alan. Yeah, Alan's uh, having a rough one. Through no fault of his own. 42 just smacks the wall, and then I don't know why the 42 is turning down like that, but he just hooks him. I assume he was out of control, but wow. That really stinks. And then the 58 coming by way late. Way, way, way late. He couldn't have, he must not have known he was there. I guess the caution came out pretty late, too, though. Like, the caution's not even out. I feel like that caution should have been out a while back. Like, that caution should have been out, like, here. The caution should be out, like, right now, and it's not. Like, you can see this is the caution light. Like, why did it take so long for the yellow to come out? Finally, it hits there, so I can't even really blame him too much. At first, it looked bad, but, you know, this is the first time he's hearing about the caution. So, you know what? I, I take it back. I think that's on the flag, man. You gotta bring that yellow out sooner. Here we are, lap 107. Nothing but a wall hit there. I assume Tracy gonna blink just a tiny bit more. Nick struggling with that right front, I imagine. It's looking like some of the guys really struggling on that right front, maybe trying to use that apron a bit. Kevin finds a tiny bit of wall. He ran a great, great race, though. We haven't been seeing him hitting the wall at all, and sounds like he did his tires just fine. Tracy, Tracy just uh, too good at these short tracks. Just about to the end of this thing. Are we going to get any more contact? It's like 17 going to send it from Kentucky. Oh, wow. That's a bit of a send. 44 left the door wide open, but... He's about half a car length back. And uh, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad, but he kind of went in there and slid, too. Come up to get the 44. I think if I did that, I would be giving it back. Oh, hey. I didn't even realize we were beneficiaries of this. Did I see this? I don't even remember this. I guess we did see it. Why don't I remember that? I think I faintly remember it. Huh. So we get on the inside of the 44 there. Nothing. Nothing here. It's like Frank just letting guys by. And uh, it looks like this is after. 
I'm kind of just parking it. As the event is over, and so is the season. With Tracy as your championship winner and race winner, that's typically how you get there. Winning some championships means winning some races, and he got it both done tonight. Gavin P2, James Hester, a fantastic run for P3. Um, and me, for myself, I got a P8, which I'm very content with. Um, you know, these aren't my best cars. Short tracks, not my best venues. So I'll definitely take it. And uh, it's nice to have nice, uh, to have nice grippy tires at the end of a race. I gotta do that more often. So happy with that. Happy with the season. I missed a couple, but uh, that's okay. I'm glad I could be here tonight. So glad you could be here too. Thanks for watching. And uh, I hope to see you again next time. And uh, for the next season of the K5 Championship, wherever that'll end up. I heard uh, probably going to be on Dirt, Dirt Oval. That's, uh, I believe, what I've heard. But specifics not decided on yet, I don't think. But hopefully we'll get, uh, get back to it before too long. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you. Have a good one.